got a, uh, a way to hold, put your bow holder on there like this. This is from a company, I don't think it's in, even existence anymore, Bow Sticks. If you can find them and they still sell their product, link it, uh, make a comment, let us know. So Gabe, I know you were asking me about the uh, apparatus I had on my bow, the, the bipod, if you will. It was from a company called Bow Sticks, and unfortunately, we love that. Uh, you got into bow hunting after that company went out of business. Yep. And uh, and we were fortunate enough that uh, my good friends over at Heartland Bow Hunter, uh, Sean and Mike, resurrected that product, and, and it's now in a new form called the Bow Ready. Uh, tell me your thoughts about it. You've had a chance to play with it a little bit this season already. Yeah, it's great. It's um. It's super nice when you have turkey coming in, you don't have to sit there and mess with your bow or picking it up. You can be in this, sitting against the blind, just sitting there. Um, or like my brother does, he just sits on the ground and has to knock an arrow when a uh, turkey's coming in. Can be padded where your bow will fall over and punch a hole through your blind with your broad head. So, yep, we've got a couple nice. of different blinds. We, we're fortunate enough, we've got three double blinds. One of them has a couple different tears at the front of it yep. where you know you lean it one way or the other. This, makes it self-standing you can stand it away from the blind yeah it's bow ready yeah it's good to go. bow ready is a good good name for it yeah uh, and we have this is something we want to do later i know sean and mike are big in this we love watching the uh, full strut uh at night we'll watch it together those guys do bow hunt turkeys without a blind they just make a little impromptu thing yeah. it's perfect for that too yeah. we'll show you show you that here in a little bit but uh we we primarily blind hunted because it just lets us get away with so much more movement but uh, we want to do the run and gun thing too later on, but perfect for, for both scenarios. Yeah, it's great, perfect. Yep. Uh, one of the things we love about it too is the fact that you it, it collapses and stores in itself in the quiver. Show, show yeah. them that, how that works. So okay. you're gonna take it, unscrew it's really nice, simple, easy and quick. We probably want to unload the arrow real quick or you can just lay it down. So it just screws into itself. So there's a male and a female end that screw together. Then you just got an arrow. You just put it right into your quiver. But so just like an arrow. So. Yeah, it makes it really easy yeah. to transport, put in your bow case. Uh, we just got back from Kansas, did a lot of turkey hunting out there, and the nice thing about it, we were running e-bikes all the time, yeah. and we had a cart, so we were pulling a blind, pulling decoys, and our bows were on bow cases, and this fits just in a bow case perfect. It's perfect. So we'd get there, then set up, and, and uh, be ready for the hunt with the, the bow ready bow stand. So, yeah. uh, really awesome product. We are so glad this is back on the market now. Uh, this has been a much needed product, and uh, and it's just you know we were familiar with the the old product this one is just as good we're going to walk you through how to assemble it here in the archery room i put it together on on uh on gabe's bow here and it is so it's infinitely adjustable so that you can get it to stand up just like you saw here with gabe okay guys let's show you assembling the bow ready stand uh this is what it comes with out of the package so uh, all I've done is remove, the, remove this from the box. So you have your bow ready stand here with the two legs attached already. You get a simple she sheet of instructions and two rubber caps. And we'll show you what those are for here in a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the legs from the actual stand part. And you'll notice here that it's held on with a little um, zip tie. And that's because there's one bolt running through the whole, the whole stand, and you can just kind of untwist this, and it'll, it'll pull right off. We want to lay that to the side. That way, when we get ready to screw it onto our bow into the stabilizer hole, that zip tie is not in the way. But let's keep it together because it's not a big deal if it comes apart. But you know, you don't want it to have have to put it back together if you don't have if you don't have to. So we're going to remove. I'm going to put this on Gabe's bow. He's going to be using his bow in Kansas this year, trying to take his first gobbler with a uh, with a bow. And so this is just a normal uh, normal thread for a stabilizer. Okay, the good thing about this is it's highly highly adjustable. I'm going to turn it where the legs are pretty much on one side. I'm going to go ahead and screw screw a leg on one side. I can rotate it and I'm 
I'll screw this other leg on this side. And we're going to go ahead and attach the leg so that I can find a good point. where I want to tighten this down at. And this is going to take a 5 8 inch rinse. Now, you'll notice you can, you can take these legs and pull them apart. You can rotate them forward. You can rotate them backwards. You can, you can position the legs however you want so that you feel like your bow is the best, has the best stable setting so that when you're setting the bow on the ground, you don't have to worry about it toppling over. Now, the reason why what these rubber cups are for is the guys at Heartland Bow Hunter send this with without them attached. So if you want to cut the length down a little bit, instead of having the stance so wide, if you want to cut it down just a little bit, fire up the old trusty arrow saw right there, cut cut down the end of it. Make sure you're not cutting the, the end, obviously, that, that screws in. Uh, cut the end out and then slip the rubber caps over wherever uh, wherever you want to. But I don't think we're going to have to. This bow sets up perfectly straight up and down, just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the rubber caps on. So what we'll do is we'll unscrew the legs. Now, these legs have a male and a female end. They will screw right together. And the nice thing about that is... Grab Gabe's quiver off camera here. So once you screw it together, you've got a full length carbon shaft here that will nest right in your quiver. Great for transporting it back and forth to the stand. So we're going to set that to the side. Now all we're going to do is we're going to put Gabe's stabilizer back in. This has a receptacle. I believe it's a 5 16 24 thread. It's your common, uh, common stabilizer thread. So we'll get this right, tighten it down a little bit. And we're ready to go. We're ready to take it outside, put it through its paces, make sure it's shooting fine. Uh, get Gabe sided in with his uh, Magnus bullheads. He's going to be lopping off some heads over in Kansas. And uh, we'll show, you it, show it to you in action here in a little bit. And, and you've shot shot with it on practice. Yeah, it, it feels the exact same as it does just on the bow. Yeah. Cool. Bow ready, bow sand, guys. Get yours from Harlan Bow Hunter today.